Hello friends, the topic of today's discussion is chiral aliens. In this lecture, we are going to discuss following points. What is an aline? Criteria for an aline to be chiral. Configuration of chiral alines. Under this head, we will be discussing two types of nomenclatures. RS nomenclature and PM nomenclature. Finally, we will discuss cumulians. Let's start with the first point. What is an aline? An aline is a compound in which a carbon atom has double bonds with each of its two adjacent carbon atoms. The simplest molecule of this class is propadiene which is also called aline. The HCH planes are perpendicular to each other that is the dihedral angle between two HCH planes is 90 degrees. It would be easier to understand this point by Newman projection formula. If we view the molecule from the left is standing perpendicular to the plane of the paper the Newman projection will look like this. If we view the molecule from the right is standing perpendicular to the plane of the paper, then the Newman projection will look like this. Here we can see that the dihedral angle between the two SCH planes is 90 degrees. Criteria for an aline to be chiral. Just like biaryl systems we discussed in the last lecture of atropisomerism, appropriately substituted alines show chirality due to the presence of chiral axis. An aline is chiral if it has non-identical substituents on both the sp2 carbon atoms. So the chiral aline can be represented by this general structure. where a and B must be different and also C and D must be different. But A and C can be the same or different and also B and D can be same or different. Let's take these three examples for more clarification. If we see compound 1 on the left sp2 carbon a is H and B is CH3. So A and B are different. On the right carbon C is H and D is CH3. So C and D are also different. Therefore one is chiral. Even though A and C are the same and also B and D are the same. In compound 2, on the left sp2 carbon, A is H and B is CH3. So, A and B are different. On the right sp2 carbon, C is chlorine and D is CH3. Means, C and D are different. So, this will also be chiral even though B and D are the same. In compound 3, A and B both are H. Since A and B are the same, so this is achiral. In compound 4, A and B are the part of a six membered ring but they are different. C and D are also different. So 4 is also chiral. In compound 5 A is CH2 and B is H. C is CH2 and D is H. A and C are the part of a ring. 
since A is different from B and C is different from D, so it is chiral. Compound 6. This is an example of bicyclic aline. Here, A, B, C and D all are CH2. A is different from B because A is the part of 11 member ring while B is the part of 13 member ring. Similarly, C is different from D. Therefore, this is also a chiral. Compound 7 and 8 are the examples of naturally occurring chiral aliens. Compound 7 is insect pheromone and compound D is called labellanic acid. Compound 9 and 10 are the examples of drug molecules having chiral aline functionality. Compound 9 demonstrated antifungal property. Compound 10 also called anprostyl is a synthetic postaglandin which inhibits gastric HCL secretion and is used for the treatment of gastric ulcer. Configuration of chiral alenes. In this, we will first discuss RS nomenclature. Like enantiomers with the chiral center, chiral alenes have R and S descriptors. Since these are optically active due to chiral axis, so R and S are written as RA and SA respectively. These are the steps for the determination of RS configuration of chiral alenes. View the molecule from the end along the chiral axis. Label groups present at sp2 carbon atoms as 1, 2, 3 and 4 based on priority. While assigning priority, one should remember that Groups on the proximal sp2 carbon are labeled as 1 and 2, while those on distal sp2 carbon are labeled as 3 and 4. Make a Newman projection formula. Draw an arrow from 1 to 2 to 3. Clockwise path of arrow represents Ra, while anti-clockwise path represents SA configuration. Now let's take the example of a chiral aline for our exercise. We will go step by step. Step first, view the molecule from the end along the chiral axis. If we view the molecule from the top end like this, this is proximal sp2 carbon. And this is the distal sp2 carbon. Step second, labeling of groups attached to sp2 carbon. Methyl group with higher priority on the proximal sp2 carbon will be labeled as 1, while H with lower priority will be labeled as 2. Ethyl group with the higher priority on the distal sp2 carbon will be labeled as 3 while H with lower priority will be labeled as 4. Step third, make Newman projection formula. For this, make a circle, draw a horizontal line above the circle and a vertical line below the circle. Put the four groups on these lines. On the horizontal line, A is on right and on horizontal line, 1 is on right and 2 is on left. On the vertical line, 3, e, three is on lower while 
4 is an upper end. Finally, draw an arrow from 1 to 2 to 3. Since the direction of arrow is anti-clockwise, so the configuration will be SA. You can also view the molecule from the bottom end for the determination of configuration. That will give the same result. If we view the molecule from the bottom end, bottom carbon will be proximal while top carbon will be distal. So, in this case, the ethyl on the bottom carbon will be labeled as 1 and H will be labeled as 2. Methyl on the top carbon will be labeled as 3 and H will be labeled as 4. To make Newman projection, make a circle. Draw a vertical line above the circle passing through the middle and draw a horizontal line below the circle passing through the middle. Put the groups at their respective positions as 1, 2, 3 and 4. Draw an arrow from 1 to 2 to 3. Since the direction of arrow is anti-clockwise, so the configuration will be SA. PM nomenclature. This is another way of representing configuration of chiral aliens. All the steps for the determination of PM configuration are the same as RS configuration except the last step. In this case, an arrow is drawn from 1 to 3 and not from 1 to 2 to 3. Clockwise path of arrow represents P meaning plus while anti-clockwise path represents M meaning minus. Let's have this chiral alien for the exercise. If you view the molecule from the bottom end, this is the proximal carbon and this is distal one. Ethyl group with the higher priority in the proximal sp2 carbon is 1 and H with the lower priority is 2. Chloro with the higher priority and the distal carbon is 3 and Methyl with the lower, lower priority is 4. So, the Newman projection formula will be like this. Draw an arrow from 1 to 3. Since the direction of arrow is anti-clockwise, so the configuration is M. Cumulins. Compounds with 3 or more cumulative, that is, Consecutive double bonds are called cumulins. Buta 1, 2, 3 triene is the simplest cumulin. Penta 1, 2, 3, 4 tetraene, hexa 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pentaene, etc. are the examples of higher cumulins. In buta 1, 2, 3 triene with the three double bonds, and hexa 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pentaene with the 5 double bonds, the 2 HCH planes make 0 degree angle, that is, all the 4 hydrogen atoms attached to the sp2 carbons lie in the same plane. So, appropriately substituted buta 1 2 3 triene and hexa 1 2 3 4 5 pentaene will show geometrical isomerism like normal alkenes in penta 1 2 3 4 tetraene with four double bonds the two hch planes are perpendicular to each other like alenes so Appropriately substituted penta 
1, 2, 3, 4 tetraene will show optical isomerism like aliens. Now, let's generalize these observations. Suppose we have general structure of tumulin with two different groups on each sp2 carbon like this. Then the cumulene with n is equal to odd that is cumulene with odd number of alkenes odd number of double bonds will show geometrical isomerism while that with even number of double bonds will show optical isomerism. Now we will take two examples A and B with two different substituent on each sp2 carbons for our exercise. In compound A number of bonds number of double bonds are 3 that is odd. So it will show geometrical isomerism. There will be one Z isomer and one E isomer. In compound B number of double bonds are 4 that is even. So it will show optical isomerism. There will be two optical isomers R and S.